Hi, this is Trisha Rogers, and this is Tony Wells. We are changing the time that we're going to Hempstock. We were going to leave Thursday. We're now leaving Friday, so we can be there for both days, the 10th and the 11th. And the reason why we want to be there for both days of Hempstock in Portland, Oregon this weekend is the hemp industry can help America. Let's face the facts, folks. America's economy is not doing very well. Hemp can help. It can help build a house. It can fuel your car. It'll fuel your economy. I'm absolutely positive the Chinese are using hemp in the schools and the roads that they're building down in Mexico right now. Because they're building a strong foxhole to come and build. Actually, what she's, what she's uh, emulating to is the fact that the Chinese are building up Mexico. And let's do something real, some, some real serious thinking, folks. We owe the Chinese a whole lot of money. And 10 to 15 years from now, if they've got basically what I call foxholes built in Mexico, and we haven't paid back that money, they're going to drive right through Juarez. Oh, right through the Mexican illegal cartel, by the way. Might wipe them out on the way, so that might help. But they are going to come and invade your country if we don't pay them back. So what I'm trying to get with is hemp can help the economy. Okay, It can help build a house, fuel, oil, all kinds of stuff. Plus, think about this. How many farmers could it put back to work if they were going, growing hemp? 6% of the farmland in the United States to supply fuel to the people that drive cars in our country. Interesting. And that includes people that aren't supposed to be here, too. And where do you get all these facts? From Factual. studies, yeah. From okay. studies. I'm just asking. You know, yeah, just... because an acre of hemp makes a thousand gallons. And it rejuvenates every 90 days. Okay, so now, now just because uh, out of curiosity, though, Okay. Now, we're both from Yakima, right? Yep. Yakima's got a whole lot of bad problems, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, but uh, you've been an advocate for a while now, right? Yeah. And you have seen the medical use help people in this town, plus yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so back to the real reason why Trish and I got hooked up. A friend of ours, a mutual friend. <laughs> on the west side. On the Should we even mention her name? Yeah. What's your name? I forget. Serena Haskins of Sunshine Organics. And Washington's Farmer's Markets. And actually, on that note, too, I've been to a lot of cool events this year. Uh, Tacoma Hemp Fest, mm -mm, not so cool. Mm -mm, we'll talk about that later. And Seattle Hemp Fest was very, very awesome. And really cool events. Washington Farmer's Markets put on by my buddy Serena Haskins, who actually hooked up me and Trisha. Okay. And the reason she got us together is because we're both from here in Yakima. We're both advocates. I'm an advocate because I know what it can do for the economy, okay? She's an advocate for both reasons because she's a medical user. I just know that hemp can help. I'm a very proud American. And I'm a mom for marijuana. A mom for marijuana. Yes. Hey, I got a joke for you. No way. <laughs> you absolutely do not. Do you? No, yeah, I do. Okay, go uh, ahead. Uh, what do you call a mom without? Mom without marijuana. <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about that later, too. So, now, as times cruise on, you might see our faces here and there and all like that. She's very politically opinionated. She pretty much hits the nail on the head nine times out of ten, okay? So, the cool thing is, we're going to be walking around together at Portland Hempstock this weekend, the 10th and the 11th for both days. I got bribed to be there on Sunday, and we won't, well, we'll just show you what I got bribed with when we get so back. So, if you don't want to be seen with us, you see us coming, cross the street, jump in a ditch, okay? Now, to be honest, I didn't want to be seen with her when they first wanted me to be seen with her, and now she doesn't want to be seen with me, and she unfriended me on Facebook. I don't know how I'll continue, <laughs> but all I know is, hey, Trisha and Tony from Yakima Wells and the Rock and TW crew are coming to Portland Hempstock this weekend, and we're going to see a whole bunch of cool friends that I know from you know meeting this summer and friends that I know from just down in the Portland area. And Serena told me today that she's going to be there Saturday. Oh, right on. So rock and roll never forgets. But remember this, folks. America is still the damn best country in the whole flipping planet. Remember, don't let it go down the drain. Hemp can help, okay? And don't get gas at AMPM because BP sucks, but... And 